Hi, I'm Jamo from Xcase. Today I'm going to look at the latest version of a very popular 4U chassis that we do called the RM420. The 420 has 20 front access hot swap caddies. These are all included within the price. And each of the caddy has a light for power and activity. The caddies have been changed since the last version. They're now better ventilated and they have a, a smoother operation. And coloured red instead of blue, it just looks neater too. As with the last chassis, we've still got the slimline optical space, two front USBs, your power and reset, and your standard activity lights for hard drive, power and LAN. We now include these two bays to add internal hard drives, the two and a half or three and a half inch drives, and a common request has been to change the 80 mil fans to 120 mil. So there we have it. Now included are three times 120 mil fans, keeping the rear two 80 mils as before. Behind the hot swap caddies shown is what's known as a back plane. There's five of these back planes which are easily removable in case of problem by these thumb screws. And each back plane has what's known as a mini SAS connection. Internal space remains the same. Anything from an ITX up to a 12 by 13 full sized board for dual processors. And of course, a micro or a standard ATX. seven rear full height expansion slots and the PSU can be a standard ATX, mini redundant or 3U redundant with bracket like a Zippy RG3. Each of the back planes already mentioned is powered by these two Molexes Without the second one is just a spare, and so it will be powered perfectly well with just one being used. Now, nothing's changed, it's still a very strong chassis. Comes in at around about 600 mil deep, obviously needs that space for your drives at the front and your dual processor boards if you're going to use them. The price includes a sliding rail kit and obviously all the screws and standoffs etc to fit all your, your motherboards and hard drives. Now with your mini SAS uh, connection here you can have an 8087 cable going straight to the same connection on a RAID controller card, or well, you can get breakout cables which will break out into four SATA ports for a motherboard. These are on the website and they're called reverse breakout cables. So I think we have it. This is the latest version of the 420, definitely now the best version. 
and it's available from stock right now. Thanks for listening.